Hi Mini Masters, thank you for coming to my second video for some activities to do along with the book, A uh, House for Hermit Crab. So in part one video, we did a handprint hermit crab and a um, sandpaper starfish. So in this one, we're gonna do another sandpaper starfish fish, but a different way. And then we'll do um, a different starfish after that. So, if you do still have some leftover sandpaper, get some of that back out. And again, if you don't have sandpaper, that's okay. You can use brown paper, any kind of scratch paper that you have around. This one, again, I just like to use the sandpaper because then it's really fun to kind of feel the grit of the sandpaper because, you know, starfish are not actually super smooth. They have all these little tentacles and little things on their belly. So just like before, We'll take our sandpaper and we'll turn it over to the smooth side and that's where you trace, you can see where I cut it out. That's where you trace your starfish. And you just you just draw a starfish, it's got one, two, three, four, five arms. Doesn't have to be perfect at all because starfish are not perfect. So once you've drawn your starfish, make sure you cut it out very carefully. And then we flip it over to the rough side. Now to complete this one, you will need some Elmer School Glue and some Cheerios. Some Cheerios or Fruit Loops, any kind of cereal that has um, has, it has a circle. Mmm. Okay, in order to do this one, we wanna start with our glue in the middle and we're gonna draw a line all the way out through his arms. And you know, and you might want to just do this one arm at a time if you're if you're afraid of the glue drying. Depends on how quickly you can do it. So then we take our Cheerios, and one by one, we're gonna put them on the line of glue. We're gonna make sure. You might need a little bit wider of a glue if you use some Fruit Loops. You can use those Cocoa Puffs. You don't have Cheerios on hand, any kind of little cereal that you might have. But this is a fun little activity because you can also snack along the way too. Keep going until you've got your cereal all the way down. These are kind of like the little suction cups on the bottom of the starfish. So this is a fun little a fun activity. So we've got his rough, his rough belly, and then we've got his little suction cups on the bottom of it. And once you get all the way around there, then you can let it dry completely before you play with it. And you can repeat this over and over again, and you can make a, a bunch of these if you want. So that's our little kind of rough starfish. And then our last starfish is going to be a colorful painted one. If you don't want it to get any paint out today, that's okay, just skip this last one. So what I did is I'm gonna find some scratch paper. I got a red and a green here. And you know, any kind of scratch paper that you can find. Again, if you don't have much paper around that's colored, just grab a piece of white paper and then they can color it with markers or crayons or anything like that. So get out some scratch paper and go ahead and again, make a couple starfish. Any shape, any size that you want, doesn't have to be perfect. Mine aren't perfect at all. It looks like they're alive and they're moving around on the ocean floor. And then the fun part here is I got some bubble wrap that I use over and over again just for painting activities. So it's always good to keep bubble wrap on hand. And then I got some uh, tempera paint where you can use poster paint. It's very similar. I've got our primary colors, uh, red, yellow, and blue. And then I've got a one of these little paint brushes. So in order to do this one, I'm going to paint on top of the bubble wrap with the bubble side facing up. And I'm going to paint all three colors on the same bubble wrap. So I'm going to take my red. I'm going to paint my red on one little stripe here. And I'm going to use the same brush. Um, Dip it into the yellow, get the yellow going, and then I'm gonna use the same brush again 
and get into that blue. Okay, you put your brush off to the side and then you take your starfish and I'm actually gonna press it. Uh, I'm gonna, you can do it either way. You can press it down like this on top of it or you can take your bubble wrap and you can put it on top of this. Just make sure that your area is clean and you've covered it with some newspaper or something so you don't get your table all dirty. So make sure you press down on your painted bubble wrap here and then slowly peel it back. Look at that, isn't that cool? Let's try it again with my red one this time. So I'm gonna situate him, oh, how about like that? And we'll just do what we did the last time. There's still a little paint left on here so you can use this a couple different times. Just kind of lay them there and then gently press down. Make sure you get paint on all those tentacles. Parts of it won't have paint on it and that's okay. I'm gonna peel that off and there we go. Second time. You'll see that there's little spots here that's missing some paint. You can either leave that blank or just come right back over and just push it down on that one little spot. Then you set those off to dry. And then there you have it. Those are your little colorful starfish. Those are the little suction cups on the starfish that way. And then your bubble wrap, you can go ahead and rinse it off and you can start over again and you can do different color combinations, different sizes of starfish. This is a fun activity to do um, with adults as well. Uh, bubble wrap is a really fun and versatile material. So you can reload it, you can rinse it off and start over. But that is how you use bubble wrap to make a little printed starfish. So that is our video, our second video today on how to make a couple different starfish to go along with our book, A House for Hermit Crab. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.